In this video, we're going to talk about how to convert miles per hour to meters per second. So let's begin. So right now, this is what we have. We have 45 miles per one hour. Now, in order to go from miles to meters, it's helpful if we convert miles to kilometers and then kilometers to meters. So we need to know the conversion factors. It's important to know that one mile is equal to 1.6093 kilometers. Now let's use that conversion factor to convert from miles to kilometers. Notice that we have miles on the top. In order for that unit to cancel, we want to put the same unit on the bottom. So this portion of the conversion factor, we're going to put it on the bottom. The other part, we're going to put it on top of the second fraction. So as we can see, the unit miles cancel at this point. Next, we need to convert kilometers to miles, I mean to meters. And it's good to know that one kilometer is equivalent to 1,000 meters. So the next step, we're going to put kilometers on the bottom and then meters on top. And so at this point, we could cancel the unit kilometers. So right now we have the desired unit meters. The next thing we need to do is change hours into seconds. Now we know that one hour, well first here's what we're going to do. We're going to convert hours to minutes and then minutes to seconds. Now we know that one hour is equal to 60 minutes. Now, where should we put the 60 minutes and where should we put the one hour in this fraction? Notice that we have the unit hours on the bottom, so we're going to put that same unit on top. So we're going to put this part of the conversion factor on top. The 60 minutes is going to go on the bottom. And so now we can cross out the unit hours. Now, we know that one minute is equal to 60 seconds. So in the next fraction, we're going to put one minute on top, 60 seconds on the bottom, so that we could cancel out the unit minutes. So now at this point, we need to plug in the numbers to get the answer. For numbers that are on top of the fractions, we're going to multiply, and then we're going to divide by the numbers on the bottom of the fractions. So hopefully you have your calculator with you. And now let's plug in the numbers. So it's going to be 45 times 1.6093 times 1,000 divided by 60, and then take that result divided by 60 again. So you should have this answer, 20.1 meters per second. So that's equivalent to 45 miles per hour. So now you know how to convert miles per hour into meters per second. Now let's work on this example problem. This time we're going to go backwards. We're going to convert 15 meters per second into miles per hour. If you want to pause the video and try this example problem, feel free to do that now. So let's start with what we're given, 15 meters per second. So we're going to convert meters to kilometers and then kilometers to miles. And then afterward, we're going to convert seconds to minutes and then minutes to hours. So let's write down the conversion factors that we need. We know that one kilometer is equal to a thousand meters. So let's use that first. We're going to put the thousand meters on the bottom and the kilometer on top because we want these units to cancel. Next, we're going to convert kilometers to miles. From the last example, we saw that one mile is equal to one point 6093 kilometers. So we're going to put this on the bottom. And the other part of the conversion factor on top. So now we can cross out the unit kilometers. So next, let's convert 
seconds to minutes. We know that one minute is equal to 60 seconds. So we have seconds on the bottom. We're going to put that on top. And then one minute is going to go on the bottom. So now we can cross out the unit seconds. Finally, we need to convert minutes to hours. So we know that one hour is equal to 60 minutes. And we're going to put 60 minutes on top, one hour on the bottom. And so now the unit minutes cancel. So we're left with units of miles per hour, which is what we want. So let's do the math. It's going to be 15 divided by 1,000, and then take that result divided by 1.6093, and then multiply that by 60 times 60, and you should get 33.55 miles per hour. So now you know how to go backwards from meters per second to miles per hour.